Hello everybody, it's Steve Katz of Karis, Norland, Kolbeconk Watchdog. Uh, we're going to be trying to call Durham Regional Police here. Uh, I believe this is our fourth attempt to call them. And um, we're going to see if Constable Peacock is available to speak to us today about this matter. So we're just going to sit down here and start our police interrogation video with uh, Constable Peacock there and Maybe he can fill us in on why he's harassing us and his buddies from OPP, too. Oh, boy. Thank you for calling the Durham Regional Police. <laughs> you reached Ryan Peacock. I'm unable to take a call right now. Please leave your name, number, and time Here to call. Here you go. I will get back to you. It is for you. After the tone, when you finish, you can hang up or press one for more options. Well, hello, it's Chris Katsakaris. Uh, you can reach me at 905-922-9788. This is an urgent call on your beca on your behalf because um, I have some information and evidence regarding to you and that I will now be looking at laying criminal charges against you under the Police Services Act. And furthermore, I said the people who you're trying to protect, because under uh, reasonable and probable grounds, I said, you post and investigate both parties. Well, you never spoke to me once, nor my brother. So there's a violation right there. You didn't even do your job. So I gather you're a constable. Anyway, uh, you had give me a call, and uh, we can discuss this matter further, because I do have a lot more information. And I'll also be laying a secondary charge, too, against these individuals who accused me of a so-called crime. It's called public mischief. Me want to research that. Yeah. Anyway, I look forward to your call. Okay. Bye. Yeah, and that's what public mischief is, is that we, in the last number of years, can't enjoy our property here on Trails End or down in Whitby because of these operatives. And there's cameras watching our house 24-7. And we do have the evidence proving that Durham Region Intelligence, starting with Stephanie Dixon, is... Got us uh, watched all the time. Yeah, and she doesn't want to come to court, right? So we got people using intelligence units on us and also homicide from York Regional Police, and we haven't forgot about them too. So we're starting with Jim Kilby there. Yeah, anyway. for homicide now. <clears throat> anyway, there's, there's some more information going to uh, other government agencies again. Yeah, so basically. Yeah, we're putting in a freedom of information. And, and That's I, great. I said our, our, our evidence. It's all about in the days about evidence and proof, right? And that's the way it's law is supposed to work. And yeah. uh, apparently the police, I guess, just kind of make up stuff and tell you things that are not relevant. Anyway, so uh, we'll get back to you, and hopefully he can give us a call, and uh, we can continue this interview, and uh, maybe we can get some clarity, because right now it looks pretty foggy and doesn't look very good for Mr. Uh, Peacock. Yeah. Ryan Peacock. Constable? Yeah. And by, by the way, people want to know, it's his badge number is 3488, so, eh. As a curious uh, Canadian citizen, eh, you may want to give him a call and say, hey, what's this all about? <laughs> anyway, yeah. nice talking to you again, people, and uh, have yourself a great day. Yep. So we'll, we'll try to call the Durham Regional Police maybe later today and tomorrow, and hopefully they can get their act together and explain why they want us arrested so badly. So I'm putting this up on YouTube, and uh, stay tuned for our next video. So long, everybody.